Hello everyone and welcome back. It is Queen of Queen She Me. Today I will be sharing with you guys a haul. It's pretty much as you guys can see is a grocery haul of what well, would help me to share with you. Yeah, so this is pretty much my grocery haul, you guys. If you cannot tell, um, I got quite a bit of stuff and I just wanted to pretty much come on here and share with you guys. Um, if you're wondering about the background, yes, we are in our new apartment and our new kitchen. And yeah, and I just wanted to share with you guys what we picked up today. All right, so starting out, we got some eggs. And you guys know pretty much we love eggs. These are the 12 large organic cage-free brown eggs. We got some bananas and I got these really 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 ripened because I actually use these for my smoothies so she actually gave me these half off I think she only charges like 33 cents honestly so yeah these are good for again like bananas or like oatmeal I mean these are good for your smoothies and oatmeal um bowls as well you guys and yeah i mean they're even perfect for like a snack so i love bananas all right so the next few things that i got are some actual onions so this is a red onion and then i actually picked up some yellow onions as well as some white onions i like to use the yellow ones because they're a little bit more sweeter and then the orange ones i like to use them in pretty much everything for like cooking um baking even with like my salads um i primarily got the red one this week for like salads or anything like that and i'm also going to be doing some wraps but primarily i love 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 onions and so i just figured this time i'll just get the bag of onions because i know i'm really really going to be using them this week or so so yeah got some onions i also picked up some of these cucumbers as you guys can see they have them on sale for a dollar fifty and you guys like the best time to like really get produce and especially if you know you're going to be using them in like the next couple of days is to get it from the clearance section if they have one so yeah this was a steal and again they were about 50 and i want to use this for like cucumber salads detox water and probably um i try, might try to do some pickles with some of them so yeah that's why i picked up these cucumbers for the week and then i also picked up some parsley mm, i mean i'm sorry that's just cilantro Mm, it smells so good. So yeah, got some cilantro. Got a big, 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 big bushel of parsley as well. Mm, it smells so good. And y'all, this was like 89 cents. The other one was 89 cents as well. And then we got us some lemons. These lemons, they're they're always on sale for three dollars and no, I'm sorry, they're always on sale for a dollar nineteen. So we just picked these up. Um, again, I like to use these for cooking, detox water. Okay, and then I also picked me up some blueberries. You guys know I love blueberries. And then I also picked up some of the Nature Right strawberries. Oh, and they smell so freaking good. And I like to use these for smoothies and also my um, oatmeal bowls as well, you guys. And even like these are good for like a snack as well. Um, very, very, very good. Um, oh, and I got some granola too this week. So yeah, I can have them with some granola. And then I got some um, granny apples. These are like the green ones. So yeah, I just got three of those for the week. I got a whole package of green bell peppers. As you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five green bell peppers and they were for $1.50. So yeah, I mean, you can't beat that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm pretty much gonna cut these down and put them in the refrigerator so that way they don't go bad because I will be using these to cook this week. So this came right on time. This is nothing more than one um, clove of garlic. This is chicken, so actually this needs to go in. Yeah, this is chicken entry, so this actually needs to go in. All right, you guys, so moving around along. This week, um, I picked up some organic, unrefined virgin coconut oil expeller repress. Um, I'm actually going to be using this coconut oil this week to actually cook with. So, yeah, I cannot wait to actually use this because it's going to be so freaking good. Um, yeah, you guys know like coconut oil is good for everything. Um, I picked up a butternut squash because <laughs> I'm actually going to be using this. Um, I want to use them for um, roasted butternut squash. And I guess they're like strips or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to make that. And then I picked up two papayas. Now, I already have some in the freezer that's actually frozen. So I'm going to use those for my smoothies. But this is actually just going to be for like a snack. So like, I can just split it down the center. And then, yeah, I can just scoop out the seeds, let them dry so that way I can use them for, um, you know, to add in my salads and stuff for like a parasite cleanse. And yeah, you guys, so papayas are like bomb. And like, 
I don't know why it took me so long, but yeah, finally got around to actually getting on the bandwagon with Pobias. <laughs> All right, so I also got some bread. Um, this is actually for Alexa, but I like Nature's Own as well. So just picking some wheat bread for the week. Now I got these bananas specifically for like if I just wanted to have a snack or also to use for my um, oatmeal bowls as well. So yeah, I'm just, like I stated, the ones I showed you guys the first time, those are going to be primarily for my smoothies because they've already pretty much ripened. So I'm just gonna cut those down and freeze them. Whereas these, I can just eat these as a snack on the go for breakfast and again, use these for my um, oatmeal bowls for breakfast. All right, and then the last produce that I actually have to share with you guys, this is bag of kale. Um, this is actually the kale that I use, you guys. You can get this at Walmart, Fresh Market, Publix, and Dixie's. Um, I'm pretty sure you can probably even get this on Thrive Market online. But yeah, this is the Nature's Green Kale Greens, you guys. And this is the kale that I use for smoothies, for cooking, just for anything to stuff any kind of chicken or recipe with or whatever. And you can also pick up fresh kale as well, but this, in a sense, has become a convenience. So I just like this one in the bag because it's already cut down. Now, I do rinse them. Again, I don't just trust it because it says it's already clean and rinse. I don't believe in that. So I do clean my greens again. But yeah, so these will be good after till July 31st this is what it says to sell by or best of use by that date. But yeah, they'll be gone by then because the other bag is going to be getting cooked today. So, yes! <laughs> okay, so back at it. <laughs> so, I picked up some more chickpeas. These are from the brand called Goya. Um, Y'all, pretty much they are garbanzo bees, chickpeas. I love these freaking things. Um, I actually also too... I picked up some hummus this week because um, I'm also going to be making some wraps for you guys. I am very, 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 very excited about eating this because pretty much hummus is nothing more than blended, you know, um, chickpeas. And I didn't realize that until I actually read the packaging. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. So, I'm going to be using this for wraps this week. And then this, of course, will just probably be for some bowls or like an addition to um, a meal that's probably already prepared. <laughs> Next, I picked up some of the Maranatha um, No Stir Almond Butter. You guys know I've been obsessing over almond butter for like the longest time now. So yes, I primarily like this brand. And this time I got the one that has no sugar or salt added. So I don't know how true that may be. But I just like this particular brand. Um, so again, it's by Maranatha. And this is the almond butter that I use for my smoothies as well as my oatmeal bowls. I also picked up some quinoa. This is the one that I just showed you guys recently in my Simple Quinoa um, vlog. So I hope you guys check it out. If you didn't, I will leave the card up here so you can. And then I picked up, <laughs> well, one low sodium chicken broth and then the other one's just pretty much a regular one. So yeah, I got this for like when I want to use for cooking or if I want to make my, a large pot of my own broth, which you guys know I like to do that quite frequently. So yeah, this is just the organic chicken broth that I use pretty much for cooking and then this time I picked up some jasmine rice because I recently had some Alyssa's mom made some was that last weekend but yeah her mom had made some jasmine rice so I wanted to make some jasmine rice this week so that's why I picked this up so yeah you guys just some simple jasmine rice I also picked up some honey bunches of oats granola this is the crunchy honey roasted ones um, I saw someone on Instagram with some today with their yogurt, so I said I want to get some for mine this week. And then I also picked up some Fisher Natural Sliced Almonds um, to make a salad, or I think I, it's in one of those recipes I'm going to be making from um, BeVegan.com's ebook, you guys. So yeah, I'm going to be pretty much doing a ve vegetarian week, and this is my haul that I'm sharing with you guys. I'm just sharing with you what I picked up for the week. And some of these items I actually haven't picked, purchased before. Like for instance, these sliced almonds, that was just something new. I purchased the granola before in the past, like numerous times. So yeah, I'm trying it out this week and we're gonna see how it goes. And then also to pick some Hungry Jet Buttermilk Pancake Waffle and Pancake Mix. Of course, you guys know Holy Grill. 100% um, old fashioned rolled oats. You guys know I love this stuff. This is pretty much the oatmeal that I eat. The only one that I eat primarily. And I also use this for my smoothies, you guys. And I've also used this to make um, some pancakes before as well. So I really do like this particular brand of oats. And they are hearty and you do have to actually let them steep in the water to soften. So um, we picked some Activia. 
Um, Alexis actually got me addicted to these now in a sense because I really like the one that I had yesterday, but I just preferred it with no fruit. So she has the blueberry kind, and then I picked up the vanilla kind. So yeah, and that tip is really good. It's a really good probiotic to add into your um, lifestyle regimen, I guess you could say. Um, especially if you want to make sure that you're having a regular, you know, BM or bowel movement. We're all adults here. So yeah, this is a probiotic yogurt with bifidus in it. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty good and it really does have a very, very good taste. It doesn't have an aftertaste or anything like that. I promise you guys, we're almost to the end. So I just picked up another Chobani Greek yogurt flip cup. This is the Cinnabon one. You guys see me um, eat this on Instagram. And then we also picked up an extra package of blueberry yogurt. And then the last two items that we picked up is some unsweetened vanilla silk almond milk. This is pretty much a holy grail milk. Like we had another one that I was using this week and it's okay, but this is like holy grail. This is like a ride or die. I know it works. I love it. My body loves it. And I just love, love, love using this almond milk. I've actually been using silk milk before and I started out initially with the soy milk, but then I um, learned that it was high in estrogen, you know, soy is. So that's why I switched over to the almond milk and I actually prefer the almond over the soy milk now. So this is my favorite brand by Silk. And then we picked up some Tropicana Essentials Probiotic Juice and this is the pineapple mango flavor. We've actually had the other kind of a strawberry, what was it, strawberry mango bag? Yeah, the other flavor was strawberry and mango. So, so you guys, um, this pretty yes. much concludes my haul for the week. Pretty much so this is leading up into um, July 23rd through the 29th. So pretty much for the week, you guys, I do plan on eating vegan the entire week. That is the goal. Um, if I decide to have some form of chicken that's probably if, or any form of meat, it probably will be either chicken or seafood. But I really want to try to just stick with just really just eating a vegan base diet for the whole entire week so yeah we're gonna see how that goes you guys wish me luck hence why i went grocery shopping today and i wanted to share with you guys the different options that i picked up for myself as well as alexa because she really pretty much eats what i pretty much cook for us or eat so yeah that's a good thing so if your partner you know likes to try different things and everything like that i would suggest trying you know different meals and other alternatives you know besides just eating a normal burger or pork chops or steak or whatever it is that you may have you know just try to switch it up sometimes you know because it can be fun to you know just just see what other variations are out there you know if you're if you're like me you like to cook but you can get bored with cooking too if you just wind up cooking the same thing so yeah get you a cookbook start following people who have awesome recipes if you like me i like stuff that's simple and to the point um i don't mind prepping as long as i know what it is that i need to have in order to prep properly and the thing about that now, I did not pick up mint scarlet. But yeah, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed my grocery haul for the week. And yeah, you guys, I will see you in my next upload. Bye, Kwan.